The law is clear on the role of the chairperson of the IBC. The law does not vest in the chairperson the powers of a dictator to rule the IBC unilaterally. The IBC is structured as a democratic institution in which decisions must be taken either by consensus or by a vote of the majority. The chairperson and a tiny minority of commissioners have no legal authority to take weighty decisions and proclaim them at the rulings of the IEBC. The law on the IEBC provides that unless a unanimous decision is reached, a decision on any matter before the Commission shall be by a majority of the members present and voting. I want to repeat. Unless a unanimous decision is reached, a decision on any matter before the Commission shall be by a majority of the members present and voting. In addition, the Court of Appeal in the Maina Kiai case ruled, and I quote again, reiterate, as we conclude, that there is no doubt from the architecture of the laws we have considered that the people of Kenya did not intend to vest or concentrate such sweeping and boundless powers in one individual, that is the chairperson of the appellant. That is why I and Azimio Laomoja, one Kenya, and the nation at large were shocked yesterday to learn that Mr. Chibukati alone decided to pronounce himself on the supposed on the supposed winner of the 2022 presidential elections. We understand that only Mr. Chabukati alone had access to the tally of the presidential vote. He denied all the commissioners access to that information until he suddenly appeared before the commissioners in the late afternoon to present them with a fait accompli. Barely two hours before his announcement, Mr. Bukati called a meeting of the IEBC and revealed to them the different results he was going to announce. Four of the seven protested Mr. Chibukati's actions. But Mr. Chibukati, whose mind appeared made up, did not entertain any discussion of the results, precipitating a walkout by a majority of the commissioners who promptly denounced the results at a press conference. We know what happened next. A majority of the commissioners walked out and held a press conference where they denounced the results. Our view in Azimio is clear. The figures announced by Mr. Chibukati 